Hi, I'm John Digweeds, currently in Newcastle, waiting to go down to the Shindig Warehouse Party tonight. January's been pretty hectic. I did New Year's Eve in Los Angeles, and then two days after that, I went down to the BPM Festival in Mexico. And then the day after that, I went down to Punta del Este in Uruguay, did shows there, then Argentina, then up to Brazil, then Lima, then back to Brazil, um, back to Argentina, and just, yeah, a lot of traveling around. The vibe at the moment out there seems to be really positive. People just want to have uh, a good time. I think there's a, something about nightclubs, release, forgetting about what's going on in the world. Um, so from a, from a DJ's point of view, I'm, I'm very excited about the year ahead. Setup wise, pretty simple, DB4 and three uh, CDJ 2000s, that's my um, setup really. Um, very simple but the um, DB4 has pretty much everything inside so I don't need any uh, anything else to connect to it. The CDJs, um, I use SD card to you know, play all my music through and the DB4 is perfect for you know, what I want to do. Input Matrix on the mixer is a, a fantastic invention for this mixer. It just really allows you to, you know, change over quickly or add to um, the same track playing, but then add it to another uh, track with effects and, and stuff like that happening on it. So um, that's definitely a key feature. Um, the delays I love on there. Um, some of the reverbs and the distortions as well. That's uh, that's good to uh, to mess and mess things up. Um, EQ wise, it's it's fantastic. Um, the quality of this mixer and the build is is the best that they've done so far. I mean, I've been um, using Alan he since the the 62 came out, and um, I've been a fan. Insist on it at every gig, and for me, it's about having something that's stable, well built, quality sounds. It's got that warmth, um, and it just it just delivers, and that's. From a DJ's point of view, that's what you want. You want to know when you turn up, you've got the equipment there that's going to sound and, and sound right and make you sound good as well. The EQ that I use on the DB4 is the isolator mode. That's that's one that works for me. It's perfect. You can really cut things out, get a great uh, effect. You know, when you're mixing in, you just want those subtle. Uh, uh, bass and mid to just nudge out of the mix without people really knowing what's going on. When I first received the DB4 and got it home, I couldn't believe the amount of effects uh, that, 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 that the, the unit has. I mean, it's just it is studio quality. Um, you get such a wide choice. You've got endless um, effects that you can uh, use and choose on on each channel and. Uh, I mean, I've still not gotten to the bottom of all of them just because there's just so much there. So I think it's, it gives you the scope to, uh, to be so creative with what you do uh, from a DJ point of view and just change things constantly. I love the fact, um, you know, the, the layout is, it's quite similar to the 92, but obviously there's a lot more going on there. So it's got a few more knobs, but you know, they've, they've put lights on certain knobs that when in a certain mood, it changes to one color and, and another mood changes to another. So obviously when you're working in a, a dark environment, it, it's letting you know when you're doing something and it's letting you know when you're doing something else. I think that's really important, especially when you've got quite a complicated mixer that's doing many things. You don't want to be, thinking you're doing one thing and it's doing the opposite just because you've you know you're not in the right mode. So I think it's it's been so well thought out that it it does give you those warning signs that you're doing something else. So if you're trying to do another mood you can quickly look at it, there's a different colour and you go, right, I need to switch into this mood now to do what I want to do. So yeah, everything seems to be um, thought thought out so well on this. And um, I think when you when you build in a mixer that has so much detail to it, you've got to have those extra bits of detail to make it function properly for for the user.
A bedrock label, we've just had a release from a Canadian producer called Richie G, he's only 17. He's definitely a real talent, um, put together a great EP. Got tracks from Omid 16B coming up, um, a new track from Marco Bailey and Tom Hades, um, a remix of um, Nick Muir and my track called uh, 30 North East, uh, which has been remixed by Julian Jewell. There's a new compilation from um, Jimmy Van M and Oliver Lieb, uh, it's called Collaborations, where we're getting two producers and DJs to kind of make an album together. There's an album um, to sort of go with the Miami uh, Winter Music Conference. Um, it's going to be the underground sound of Miami, which is 11 unreleased tracks for the Bedrock label, so that's just going to be a uh, single CD. So uh, record-wise, we're very busy, got a lot going on, and um, yeah, very excited about the year ahead with the, with the record label.